Hi, my name is Lindsay Bird, and this is my vlog for Module 1. Um, first, I'd like to introduce myself by saying I'm definitely a digital immigrant. According to the definition provided in Prinsky's um, articles, I'm, I was born well before 1980, and um, as I describe my educational and professional experience, I'll probably make sure that people become believers in his definition. Um, first of all, even when I was in college, we didn't have email accounts, we didn't have internet access. I remember going and using the catalog to do research in the library. Um, I mentioned in one of my posts on the discussion board that I didn't get my first email account until spring break of my senior year to keep in touch with some friends that I made from Southern California uh, while on spring break. And in that social context, um, I even had to use dial-up, so that was frustrating and ended up uh, not using that email because it went obsolete. Um, none of my studies in high school or college were done on a digital platform. Um, fast forward five years, my cousin graduated from the exact same university and they had gone uh, paperless. They were awarded a green grant and did everything electronically. So again, he being born after 1980, again reiterates the uh, definition in uh, digital native and di digital immigrant um, from our readings this week. Um, my professional experience, I wouldn't say that I am a complete dinosaur. I do my best to try to keep up with the um, modern technologies. I remember the transition from overhead projector to document camera was a big leap for me. And um, I did my best uh, to implement technology at the lead of some of the digital natives on our staff. But I also have to admit, some of my colleagues that I relied on most for tech help were definitely born before 1980 and for whatever reason um, were really the masters of technology, so they would challenge that definition. Um, last year my school did go one-to-one -one with Chromebooks and so uh, I simultaneously started this master's program. I figured I would just throw myself in the deep end um, both personally and professionally and what I have learned in terms of uh, media, uh, digital technology in one year just absolutely blows my mind. So uh, based on that I would definitely like to say that even though it might be a challenge for people who are by definition uh, digital immigrants to get caught up, it definitely is is possible. Uh, one of my colleagues who again um, was born well before 1980 is someone who I rely on and the reason that he is uh, so well versed in technology is because he went back to school later in life and by the time he got not only his degree but his teaching credential everything was done in a format like what we're doing through the University of San Diego so based on just practice and experience we're able to rely on him. So um, from a teaching standpoint, these definitions are entertaining to me because all of my students are actual immigrants and refugees, and so I definitely can see um, why that metaphor was used in terms of there definitely being an advantage to being a native and the comments regarding the retention of the accent. Um, but that being said, um, I also know that some of the questions raised in other articles that criticized the use of immigrant, digital immigrant and a digital native um, rang true to me because of my students being immigrants and refugees that often have not had access or exposure to technology, um, you cannot assume that just because uh, someone is a teenager and born in the digital age that they have any kind of uh, knowledge or expertise. A lot of the programs that we use to teach my students English, uh, we were using even before we were one-to-one -one with Chromebooks, uh, pro computer programs such as Read 180, System 44 and Rosetta Stone. The reason we used those is because they're able to levelize and give the students um, exactly what they need at the level that they're at. And so what we did not anticipate was having to teach uh, these teenagers born in the digital age how to use a keyboard, um, how to type their password. And so um, they are really proof that although the stereotypes and the definitions provided of digital native and digital immigrant in this week's readings um, probably ring true for the majority of students, as teachers we shouldn't uh, be surprised when students sitting in our classroom don't fit those definitions and hopefully we can rely on the digital natives and their kindness and expertise to help bring the rest of us up to speed.